Hi guys, welcome to the Coding Security. In this video, I want to teach you how to create an ATM machine in C++ using code blocks. So let's go ahead and open up code blocks. I already created a program called ATM. So if you want to go ahead and create one so you can follow along, you can do that now. By the way, we're going to ask the user to enter their PIN, and if they don't enter their PIN correctly within the first three tries, we're going to kick them out of the program. So that is one thing that we are going to add to the ATM machine. So let's pretend that we got to the ATM machine, and the first thing that we see is the welcome to, and I'm going to say it's Wells Fargo. we're going to ask the user to enter their pin so we're going to need a variable called pin that is going to grab that from the user let's make it of type int and of course we're going to need to add this into a do while loop because it's only going to let them try three different times. Let's keep this nice and straight here so everything is lined up. For our condition, we're going to need another variable of type bool, and let's call it is true. So when is true is no longer true, it's going to kick us out of our do while loop so as long as do is true is not equal to false okay so we have that now in here we're going to need to keep track of how many times the user has attempted to enter the pin so we're going to need a if else statement for that for our if if the pin is equal to our password we're going to need another variable called password. Let's say that our password is, let's keep it simple, one, two, three. If pin equals password, we're going to allow them into the ATM machine. Else, like I said, we got to keep track of how many times they haven't entered the correct pin. And we're going to need another variable called count. So let's create that up here. Let's initialize it to zero. So every time that they don't enter the correct pin, we're gonna be keep, we're gonna be adding one to our count variable. We're gonna need another if. And by the way, I forgot to write my brackets brackets inside my else statement here. So let's put that code in here. But yeah, as I was saying, we're keeping track of how many times they've entered the wrong pin. So we're gonna need a if statement. So if count is equal to three, is true is going to be equal to false, which is going to kick us out of the program. Else we're going to tell the user wrong pin. And that's all we're going to do for that else here. Now, let's work on our if statement. Our if statement is going to have the actual ATM machine. So let's write, welcome to Wells Fargo again. And let's create our ATM machine menu. So for option one, let's do deposit. Option two, let's do withdraw. Three is going to be balance. And four is going to be exit. Now let's ask the user to choose an option. So 
So we're going to need another variable for that. Let's call this one, let's call it entry. Let's create that up here. So entry. Okay, and this is where we're going to create our switch statement. Depending on what option they choose, we're going to create our case one. Let's just create all our cases here. Okay, for case one, let's ask them to deposit amount so they can deposit whatever they want to deposit. So we're going to need another variable called deposit. And then we're going to need actually another one for withdraw and another one for balance. So let's create those now. Let's make those of type double. So deposit. Let's initialize it to 0, 0.0. Deposit. So let's do balance. And let's do withdraw. By the way, double variables, they can use decimals. So if the user is going to deposit, you know, some change, so we're able to use the double variables for that. If we couldn't deposit change with ints, that's why we're using double type variables. Okay, so we're not done here. So deposit amount, they're going to deposit whatever amount they're going to deposit and we're going to add that to our balance. Our balance is zero currently. So deposit, deposit is going to be added to our balance. So that's why we do balance plus deposit. For option, for case two I mean, we're going to ask them withdraw amount. And by them, of course, I mean the customer or the user, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to use our withdrawal variable there. And instead of adding, we're going to be minusing the withdrawal from our balance. That's that. For case three, we're going to say current balance and that's only going to show them their balance so let's use the balance variable here and that's it for that for case four if they want to exit the program we're just going to tell them have a nice day at this point is true we want to change it to false because we want to jump out of the do while loop but keep in mind that we want to actually create another do while loop inside our if here that way we let the user deposit let's say that they they deposit some money and then they want to view their balance and then they want to deposit some more money because the way that we have it set up now we're only going to let them do one thing so as soon as they get into the atm machine if they withdraw some money that's all they're going to be able to do and it, the program is going to end so we're going to need to create a, a do while loop inside our if statement so let's grab everything that we've written all the way down to the to our switch statement, which is going to be this bracket here. This one, this bracket is for the if, so we don't need to grab that. So let's do control X. Let's control V to paste it inside the do while loop. And then the condition here for the while loop inside the if statement, we're gonna do if true is not equal to false. So it's the same as the one 
we did for the other do while loop, which is keeping track of how many times the user has entered the wrong pin. Another thing that I want to do is I want to mimic the ATM machine as much as I can. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to change the colors of our terminal to red and yellow. So to do that, just use system color four stands for the background of the terminal four is the color red and the letter here is for the font e is for yellow so there's different combinations you could make different combinations i'm using these because that's what wells fargo uses let's go ahead and run this click build and run here okay enter your pin Let's enter the wrong pin. We know it's one, two, three. So let's enter 45, wrong pin. Let's enter 23. And let's enter it the wrong again, just to make sure everything is working correctly. So the program should end here. Okay. So we know that's working correctly. Now let's enter the correct pin, which is one, two, three. Okay. Let's say that we want to deposit some money. Deposit amount, let's deposit six hundred dollars let's view our balance so option three current balance is six hundred dollars now let's withdraw so let's click option two withdraw amount let's withdraw 400 let's view our balance option three so your balance is two hundred dollars six hundred minus four hundred is two hundred so we know that is working correctly now let's get out of the program let's choose option four and it should tell us to have a nice day have a nice day everything is working correctly there's just one more thing that i wanted to add for withdraw here let's assume that the user has a balance of zero dollars and they want to withdraw some money let's not let them withdraw if they have a balance of zero so if if balance is less than or equal to zero let's tell them please deposit some funds else we're gonna allow them to withdraw whatever they want to whatever amount of money they want to withdraw so let's put that inside our else here tip here for if else notice how our if doesn't have brackets it really doesn't need the brackets as long as our if only has one line of code but it looks funny if the else has the brackets and the if doesn't and we want it to look consistent so let's write our brackets let's create brackets here anyways so let's put that inside the if And it's all about staying consistent, try to make it look as neat as possible. And I think that looks cool right there. So let's go ahead and build and run this again. Enter your pin, let's enter the wrong pin. Enter the wrong pin again. Let's enter the correct pin now. Let's try to withdraw. It should not let us please just deposit some funds that could work correctly choose option one to deposit let's deposit 300 let's view our balance just 300 let's withdraw option two 200 our balance should be a hundred dollars now option three 100 and let's exit the program have a nice day everything works correctly and that is how you write this, mimic this ATM machine. You can go ahead and write more code if you want. There's always more stuff that you could add to ATM machines. I'm sure there's there's a lot more options. Oh, well, I know there's a lot more options than an actual ATM machine. I just kept it simple so you can see how the do while loops and the if statements and the switch statements all work together to create 
project like this so I, I hope you guys enjoy the video if you guys don't understand how to use the do while loops the if statements and the switch statement go ahead and watch some of my older videos where I teach you guys how to use these things and I hope you guys like the video I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching guys